So just three months to go for the official launch of the iPhone 16 and Apple is going all out this time. Here they are not just focusing on the software but hardware as well. Some latest news coming in, the iOS 18 source code suggests that Apple might use A18 Bionic in both Pro and Non-Pro models. This means same power and performance in all four variants but in terms of the GPU, we might see some sort of binning or underclocking in the standard 16 and 16 plus. Apple is expected to use on-device AI in the iPhone 16 so maybe that is why they are loading even the non-pro variant with a powerful A18 based on 3 nanometer process. These are some of the AI features coming alongside the iPhone 16 series. So we'll have writing assist, can fix grammar, summarize it into key points so that is something next level and this all is free of cost forever. The iOS 18 will let you create animated images of any person or place or item and finally we have Siri which is powerful than ever. From sending a text or email, finding a photo and adding it to notes to searching for what's on the screen, Siri can do almost anything. Some news coming in from ET News, the iPhone 16 Pro is gonna have Samsung's latest and most powerful M14 panel with a brighter display and efficiency. The new display can reach max 1200 nits SDR and 1600 nits HDR brightness which is great. The M14 panel will be power efficient and is going to help in better battery life. Now in terms of the design, the 16 Pro looks similar to the 15 Pro, we have same front with no to less side top and bottom chain, this dynamic island with cool animations, titanium finish, rear got similar squarish module with triple cameras, flash and lidar sensor. Side got volume keys, an action button which can be now used to trigger different functions like turning on flashlight or translate and yes you guys can silent your device as well. So mute switch is now gone and we have an action button which you guys can customize from the settings. The shocking change is below the power key we have a capture button which is gonna be touch sensitive. So I guess it is gonna shoot instant photos and videos and will support gestures like can swipe or slide to turn on video or photo or switch between them. Some leaks are we may see two new colors that is desert titanium and grey titanium. Rest of the specifications as per leaks are A18 Pro Bionic chipset based on 3 nanometer process with amazing power and power efficiency. There's gonna be a dedicated AI chip for on-device AI task, triple cameras with periscope zoom lens, no to less side top and bottom chin. Some leaks are we may see 40 watts of fast charging with larger battery size. So overall a huge jump in terms of the specifications, the highlight of this device is still taller display and that capture button. So this all guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, share, subscribe and peace out.